how to get anything you want from anybody. Well, at least have the best crack at it. There are two kinds of people in this life. Those who walk into a room and say, well, here I am. And those who walk in and say, ah, there you are. Have you ever admired those successful people who seem to have it all? You see them chatting confidently at business meetings or comfortably at social parties. They're the ones with the best jobs, the nicest spouses, the finest friends, the biggest bank accounts, or the most fashionable zip codes. But wait a minute. A lot of them aren't smarter than you. They're not more educated than you. They're not even better looking. So what is it? Some people suspect they inherited it. Others say they married it or were just plain lucky. Tell them to think again. What it boils down to is their more skillful way of dealing with fellow human beings. You see, nobody gets to the top alone. Over the years, people who seem to have it all have captured the hearts and conquered the minds of hundreds of others. my name who are you are you messing with me what do you want to play uh, how do you know, how do you know my name who are you you seriously don't remember remember what every every clown nightmare ever made <laughs> who are you <laughs> maybe this will Jog your memory. Is that ninja? I barely knew ya? Eureka! I'm so blinking good! How did you know that? You seriously don't remember? We made it up in Steven's treehouse when he got scared and ran inside like a little baby! Wah! Wah! <laughs> he ran outside because I was talking to myself. You were talking to me, silly! No, oh, no, no, no. This isn't real. This is not real. Like, super real, Jerry Bear! I can prove it. 
Ask me anything. Ask you something. What's my favorite food? That's easy. Deep fried sushi. Honking. Who did I lose my virginity to when I was 16? First of all, you were at 20 years old and it was just the tip. Celebrity crush, Keanu Reeves. <sighs> da, da. Animal crush, Keanu the cat, silly. <sighs> Manny? I haven't seen you since the fifth grade. Why am I seeing you now? Oh. You're having a stroke. Many years ago, a drama teacher, exasperated at my bad acting in a college play, shouted, No, no, your body's belying your words. Every tiny movement, every body position he held, divulges your private thoughts. Then he said something I'll never forget. And your body, the way you move is your autobiography in motion. How right he was. Meow. Any more questions? Why aren't you wearing any pants? Because, silly, every time I leave the house, I find better ones. You don't just find pants. 